Hello YouTube, in this short video I'll be showing you how to create a custom log source with Azure Sentinel. So grab an espresso or a shot of whiskey, because this one's going to be small but yet still very juicy. Okay, so for my custom log source, firstly you will need to do some requirement gathering. Um, so I'm actually interested in seeing what applications are installed on a system, their version of application, the install date, and if they have uh, like an MSI and install stream. So I've chosen to capture this type of data because adversaries will sometimes install malware in plain sight if they have already done reconnaissance and maybe found offices installed um, but not Visio. They may refactor their malware program to install a fake Visio application in the background. You know, this is common practice uh, used by Trojans. It's also a nice log to have and to do some hunting around applications that are installed on a system. So the script I'll be using is by Jay Minton. Uh, I'll pop a link in the description so there's no need to uh, reinvent the wheel here. Um, but what this script actually does is it outputs the display name, uh, the application, the version, the publisher, the install date. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty sweet script. So I'll just bring up uh, PowerShell IC here um, and I'll just hit run on this. Uh, and we can see, you know, oh, I'll run it a couple of times, you know, it outputs um, everything that we want to see. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get rid of the pipe format table and I'm just going to do export dash CSV and then just call this app uh, info but firstly I want to move this to desktop and make sure that is on the desktop okay so if we highlight this and run okay that, that now should be on our desktop app info yo I didn't do the dot CSV that's my bad Let's run this again. Okay, .csv, so let me just delete that one. Let me open this up. LibreOffice, no affiliations. Okay, so that's now brought it up. Um, oh, we actually have a situation here where it's putting the information at the top there. Okay, let me just go back into this script and do a dash no type information. Just highlight this and run this. That should overwrite it. Let's try opening this again. Excellent. So at the top here, uh, we just have our display name, um, the uh, display version, the publisher, the install date and the uninstall stream. Okay, that's brilliant. So now we've actually got this data. Um, there's a few methods of how you actually get it into Sentinel. So you can use Logic Apps, Azure Functions, a custom web API. But for this method, uh, if you haven't already guessed, uh, we're going to be using PowerShell, hence the uh, export CSV. So firstly, we're going to need to actually grab the script. So this can be found online in the PowerShell gallery. So if we navigate over to the uh, PowerShell gallery, um, PowerShellGallery.com packages uh, forward slash upload dash az monitor log forward slash 1.2 so I'm just going to copy and allow access for the script here and then I'm just going to paste it in here to install the log uh, let's find this log here so it should be in C uh, program files windows PowerShell scripts Excellent. So upload AD-monitor. I just copy and paste this to the desktop. Okay, now let's actually um, let's open this up and uh, and see what it's like. Okay, if I just expand this here. Okay, so now with the to see what this is doing here. So we can see that there's quite a few parameters here. Um, there's some mandatory values, a switch and a string. So here we have a uh, mandatory value true, which is uh, accepting a pipe request input. Then we have three strings, which are workspace ID, workspace key and log type name. So the log type name will be um, application info or app info as we've just uh, exported that out. 
Uh, then you have add computer name for a switch, which is obviously going to be needed. If you're going to send that log data, you are to include the computer name. Uh, and then you have tagged as your resource ID, additional tagging values and additional tagging name and value. Sorry. Um, so if we look a bit further down the script, we can see that it's doing a post uh, REST API call to log analytics. Uh, on this address dot ods dot insight dot azure dot com so it's actually using the the build signature um token here as well so in the build signature token we have customer id shared key and i think these are piped into yeah the, these are turned into the variables up here for workspace id and uh, workspace key uh if we scroll down a bit more then we've got some status codes and some general uh for both logging here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open up um, a blank uh, script uh, pane here and um, i'm just going to create some basic variables so i'm going to go workspace i'm going to put that in there and then i'm going to go workspace key actually let me just change that to id okay so these are our two variables okay so um for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to copy and paste the. Okay, so that pasted in. That's brilliant. So I'm just going to flick back over to here. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so if you remember from our first parameter pipeline, this was uh, accepting an input request. So this is going to be import dash CSV, and then we're going to have the app info dot CSV, and then we're going to pipe this out to upload dash AZ monitor. workspace id and then dash workspace key you've got it workspace key and then for our log type name we're going to go let's just call this um, application that's what i write info yes awesome okay and then dash add computer name i'm not going to be adding any um, custom values in here for tagging just for the minute um, so let me just highlight this and just move this screen across and we run this and we've got start process five items uploading to log out, uh, Azure log analytics uh, payload size is 1.2 kilobytes so that's not very much and then we've got the status code 200 which is successful okay so now before we jump over the portal um, if you're planning on running this scenario to get regular data ingestion you could create a scheduled task which would run every x amount of minutes and then this would send the data into sentinel now this is an extremely easy process and can be achieved uh, relatively quickly providing that uh, the data you are sending is being output outputted and formatted correctly so the data that is being sent over on a schedule doesn't actually overwrite anything Log Analytics has uh, intelligent data filtration in the background, which helps carve out each piece of metadata uh, separately, so you actually don't get any duplicates. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's jump over to the portal and we'll go into the log. Okay, so we're in the portal, uh, and then we're going to go over to logs over here on the left with inside your uh, Sentinel. Uh, get started that welcome message is appearing every time so that's that's nice um, I'm just going to close this now if you see um, where your tables are on the left here you should have another column called custom logs now we call ours uh, application info um, now by default um, any custom log that gets created has an underscore uh, CL for obviously you know custom log um, so we're just going to hit this in here and then we're going to go shift and enter. Excellent. Let me just expand this out here and I'll expand that out there. Okay, so here you can see um, exactly what we were seeing on, on our CSV. This is our computer name here. Uh, we have our display name for the application, the actual version number, uh, the publisher, the install date, uh, the MSI uninstall string, uh, which application data set it is, uh, the tenant and the uh, tenant API so that's it I mean if you can you know if you want to exclude um, applications you could be like um, where let's say publisher uh, does not contains 
uh, let's say Adobe. Now we could run this, and then that excludes everything from Adobe. You could do the same with Microsoft products. Um, so you could really, you know, filter down your results to see what you actually um, want to achieve here. So I could do the same column here below, and I could change this to Microsoft, and this will obviously filter out the um, Microsoft Monitor Manager and just leave with the LibreOffice. So you can exclude and include <clears throat> and really architect your query uh, around which applications you want to see. And that is how you create a custom log source using PowerShell for Azure Sentinel. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, that's just fine. Please subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your nan. Cheers.